If you haven't watched part 1, just click the link in the description below. Hey guys, so we finally arrived in Akihabara and currently we are in the building Rajiro Kaikang because we still have some time until Card Rush opens because they open at 13. And yeah, we will just chill here, hang around, look what kind of cards are here. And yeah, of course there's a lot of different card shops here. And uh, usually I always go to the ninth floor right here because there's three card shops on one floor, Big Magic, Full Comp and Card Labo. So let's go to the ninth floor first. And at the ninth floor now there is three card shops as I just told you. And yeah, I will just show you some random footage from some awesome cards I just saw. And yeah, you can see 20 secret rares, you can see a lot of ultimate rares and yeah, the prices actually are pretty pretty crazy compared to last year so they went up a lot and yeah that's just the world we're living in right now um, you can also find a lot of sealed product or even promo products um, there is a huge variety of items and you can also find some pack protection cases i really like them i showed them a couple time already on my channel and yeah i really like to put my uh, my rare ocg booster packs in there and um, especially since i'm trying to sell cards today i i've actually noticed that some of the posters on the wall are actually there to help you estimate how much your cards will be worth um, on the left side you see these qr codes you can just scan them and then it will take you to a website where all the prices are listed after having a quick look here on the floor i'm now heading down because uh, none of these stores are actually buying cards from me and uh, i found a place where actually cards are bought so let's go there Okay guys, so uh, since Card Rush is still closed, um, I decided to check out some different stores and wanted to know what they pay for my cards. And then I realized uh, it's a little bit different from the, uh, from the way they are going to buy the cards. I just wanted to dump a lot of commons, normals, rares, some, some hollows and stuff. And then in the end, wanted to ask uh, how much they pay for my WCS promos. But they're actually just buying cards they have on list, so they are not buying everything uh, per se. So yeah, a little bit uh, of a yeah plan change here because I have so many cards here, um, and now I don't know how to get rid of them. So yeah, I have I still have to figure that out. But yeah, we will find a way, and yeah, I will let you know later. All right, guys. So I was able to find a card store which actually bought some cards from me especially my commons and rares i really didn't want to carry them around because they got quite heavy after some time so i gave them my cards they gave me this waiting number and yeah i'm currently waiting for them to get back to me and yeah there's some uh, quite interesting footage where i'm just uh, pulling out the cards and and giving the store owners my cards and they're like basically checking every card out and are telling me how much they would pay and stuff and yeah i have to admit uh, i was a little bit disappointed because uh, in the end they just said most of the cards are worthless and i looked them up in the internet on card rush and stuff and they went for maybe 100 or 150 yen sometimes and still they just said okay this is just bulk uh, we would pay you bulk price and yeah i was a little bit disappointed <laughs> you can see the store um, i wouldn't really recommend doing that because yeah in the end it's it's just a little bit of a shame that you get literally nothing out of your cards but yeah this is basically how it went and since they were paying so less for my cards uh, i didn't even bother to ask how much they would pay for my promos okay guys so i was able to sell my bulk now but um, literally I got nothing for it, but I didn't want it to carry it around anymore. So for 100 card, they pay <laughs> one yen. So literally not even one cent for 100 cards. So it's basically, you're just dumping them there. And, uh, but I ended up making about $60 by selling some other cards, uh, some random hollows from some uh, old booster packs I opened. But I still have the actual cards I want to sell. I just decided not to sell them here because they're actually pretty cheap on the cheap side of buying cards. For example, the 2008-18 promos, they're, they're just paying uh, 2,200. And downstairs, they are already paying uh, 2,000 for the blue eyes only. So it's quite cheap, so not recommended. But um, yeah, Card Rush will open up soon. I will try my luck there because they had in the internet, they had they said, I think, $2,800 for the 
2018 WCS promos. So yeah, but right now I'm going to a Yellow Submarine because it's the only uh, card shop I know which is actually selling Bandai cards. So I'm checking that out before going to Card Rush and yeah, let's see what they have. Okay, now it's Yellow Submarine and yeah, you can see really, really big place here, a lot of space. Limited edition, nice. First edition LOV Trihorn Dragon. And yeah, first of all, they have a really nice showcase filled with Shoki cards, uh, limited edition, volume cards, all the good stuff. Some Exodia parts as well, Shoki and Niki parts. And here on the left, you have the Ultimate Rare showcase. There are some Ghost Dress as well. And here on the left side of the Ultimate Rare Showcase, you have again a Shoki Showcase for the Premium Pack cards. And there's also some old Game Boy promos down there, so the very first Konami printed Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And directly on the left, you have a huge showcase filled up with Bandai cards. And yeah, they literally had most of the cards there and yeah, I ended up buying a lot here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to buy some of these. Bandai cards here, very cheap. By the way, there will be a video maybe next week or the week after that where I show you what I bought, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, directly to the left, there is some God cards here, uh, some Blue Eyes related cards, and yeah, just, just random stuff here as well, maybe for playing also. And on the back on the showcase, showing you right now is actually a showcase where they have a little bit of booster series cards but yeah these booster series cards are very rare so yeah you don't find them often and of course not plenty okay guys got myself some bandai cards and now heading to card rush for the Sale. And the very cool thing here, especially in Akihabara, is that everything is so close together, it's just right around the corner <laughs> to get to Card Rush. And also, I really enjoy vlogging with this camera. I mean, I'm not really vlogging, I'm just filming. And most people are not even noticing that I'm currently filming. And if they notice something, they usually do not even ask what I'm doing because, yeah, they are not 100% certain what I'm doing, so they are just letting it go. And yeah, that's why I can show you some really interesting footage right here. And yeah, usually filming in stores is a little bit difficult here in Japan. Most store owners do not want you to film, but yeah, I found a way how to do it. And yeah, I'm not trying to harm anyone by doing that. I'm just trying to share the experience with you guys, especially now, since you are not able to go to Japan, even if you wanted to. And yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to sell some cards of the new set, Power of the Element. I put these on a recent video. And yeah, also some playable cards like Max C, Premature Burial, and so on and so on. And of course, our WCS 2018 promo. <laughs> あ、もちろん、あの、大丈夫です。あ、もう空いてるって感じですね。空いてる、でも見返り、カードは見返り。はい。で、お電話での答えになっちゃうんですけども。はい、今繋がらないんですけど、電話でも。ここで待ってれば
。出られない場合でも電話番号ご記入お願いします。あのちょっと質問なんですけども、今あの身分証明書がドイツのものしかないんですよ。手持ちに。確認させてこれでも大丈夫でしょうか。少々お待ちください。はい、確認しております。Okay, guys. I just went to Card Rush, but unfortunately,、uh, to sell cards in Japan, you need some kind of ID. And I had my German ID, but、uh, they said it's it's not enough. They need a passport if I'm a foreigner. And yeah, therefore, I have to bring my passport the next time. So I couldn't sell any cards here, unfortunately. So、uh, yeah, I'm a little bit in a in the trouble right now because. Uh, going home takes me about one and a half hours, one way, so three hours, just to pick up my passport. And otherwise, yeah, the other problem is that I don't have much money left, so I can't really buy stuff right now. So yeah,、um, I'll try to figure out a way. Maybe we can buy some cheaper stuff. But yeah, unfortunately. Cannot get my big monies yet, so yeah, we have to wait a little bit on that. But yeah, see you soon.